Ghost Breakers Incorporated. You make them, we shake them. Bob Hope speaking. Yes, Paulette Goddard's a partner in this firm. What? You want me to send her around? <laughs> Listen, if I could tell Paulette what to do, I wouldn't send her to your house. Sucker. You know, I never knew there were so many ghosts roaming around loose until Paulette and I got into the Ghost Breakers. Believe me, the cat in the canary was a pink tea compared to this picture. It all starts on one terrible night. Basil Rathbone must be giving a party. That's the night that Paulette inherits a ghostly ancient castle off the ghost, I mean the coast of Cuba. The place is filled with mummies and spooks that walk at midnight. There are murders and death warnings planned to frighten Paulette and me, but we ain't frightened. I'll match you to see who faints first. like Miss Carter's voice. Ah, that's what they're trying to make us believe. Paulette and I are such good ghost breakers is that we don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> or do I? This is the voice of the uninvited. It's coming from downstairs comes from everywhere and nowhere. A house of terror on the haunted cliffs of Cornwall, where the uninvited walk unseen by men. Yet a cat arches its back in fright. <coughs> Flowers are withered by the touch of an unseen malignant hand. Candles flicker and die as a ghostly chill fills the air, and the living are clutched by the icy horror of the restless dead. Stop, Pamela. Don't go near that door. The Uninvited, Dorothy McCardle's gripping novel of the supernatural comes to the screen, starring Ray Land, Ruth Hussey, Donald Crisp, with Cornelia Otis Skinner, and introducing the exciting beauty of Gail Russell, whose first love is shadowed by the specters of the past. Stella, what is it? Are you ill, Stella? Quiet. Leave her alone. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop her, Scott. Shh. She's in a trance. I saw this happen once before at a seance. I thought it was a fake. But this isn't. I know. It's dangerous. Please get out of this house now. Now lie there quietly. I'm not afraid of anything here. Then be afraid. Be afraid for heaven's sake. When you were a little child, the evils of this house reached out for you. Stella, go! Go! <laughs> picture that reaches its climax in shocking horror. Its impact is so terrifying that it may have an unforeseen effect. It may kill you. Therefore, its producers feel they must assure free burial services to anyone who dies of fright while seeing the screaming skull. Be sure to bring someone with you who can identify you when you see the screaming skull. 
Only this lost soul, half man, half ghost, knows the secret of the living dead's curse. The torturous agony that saturates these walls and makes the shutters creak with almost human pain. Terrorizing those who dare to love with the maddening, jealous shriek of the screaming skull. What diabolic demon dares touch the screaming skull? What ghoulish thoughts control this poor man's demented mind? What does he know? What secret, horrifying and blood curdling, is he hiding? Nothing is more terrifying than the spine chilling breath of a vampire woman, ghostly, ghastly, as unreal as a will o' the wisp, as real as the sc skull. Imagine the furor of love, then maybe you'll hear. These walls here, these windows answer. The Screaming Skull. The Screaming Skull is a motion picture magnificent in its horror. Therefore, this certificate assures burial service without cost to anyone in the audience who dies of fright while seeing The Screaming Skull. See the revisualization of a woman scorned. See the vengeful violence of the undead. The Screaming Skull, starring Alex Nichol. See terror from the year 5000 and The Screaming Skull. Vincent Price, and you're invited to my party in the house on Haunted Hill, where so far the ghosts have murdered only seven people. So won't you come and make it eight? You'll see human heads without bodies. Mysterious pools of blood dripping from the ceiling. The walls move slowly in against you. Don't try to escape, you can't. are waiting, so won't you join me in the house on Haunted Hill? Hooray. Or you'll be late for your own funeral. No one will ever love you more than I do. Can a man step away from his past into a future free from fear? Or must a dead past return, making of every living moment a time tortured, tormented? <laughs> tormented, holding you spellbound for the she-ghost of Haunted Island. of desire overshadowed by nightmares. Can a dead love's lust destroy a man? Or can a man defy the she-ghost of Haunted Island? It's going to be just as though you never existed. I'm going to marry Meg. But at the wedding rehearsal was one uninvited guest. I'll never let you marry Meg. 
You belong to me, Tom. You belong to a ghost. Tom Stewart killed me! Tom Stewart killed me! Saturday Evening Post calls the master of movie horror. Do you believe in ghosts? I do. And you will, too, when you come to this theater and see my picture, 13 Ghosts. Uh, no more dictation today. When you see 13 Ghosts, you'll be given a supernatural viewer like this, which will enable you to penetrate for the first time into the spirit world. It will let you see all 13 of our weird, wonderful, and wildly assorted ghosts. Now, brace yourself as we take you across the threshold of our haunted mansion, where there's a ghost for everyone in the family. Father, mother, sister, brother. You'll be scared stiff, too, when you see what they see. 13 ghosts materializing in ectoplasmic color through the magic of Illusiono, the ghost viewer. Ah! The ghost of a lion in the basement. The ghost of a murderous cook in the kitchen. Stop it! Stop it, I say! The ghost who speaks through the lips of the living. Death tonight to one of you. Ah! The evil ghost in the bedroom, fighting to take possession of this beautiful girl. <coughs> You'll feel all the thrills and chills of seeing one ghost multiplied by the magic number 13. never been a ghost story created especially for the adult moviegoer until The Innocents. <laughs> Do they ever return to possess a living? 20th Century Fox, which presented Deborah Carr in Heaven Knows Mr. Allison and such outstanding motion picture immortals as Snake Pit, Gentleman's Agreement, and Peyton Place now gives you the Innocents. Based on the Henry James Chiller of Macabre Evil. Brilliantly adapted for the screen by William Archibald and Truman Capote. Do they ever return to possess the living? You can see. You must. The Innocents. Produced and directed by Jack Clayton, the man who directed Room at the Top, turned into fearful reality by the magnificent performance of Miss Deborah Carr with Michael Redgrave as the uncle, co-starring Peter Wingard, Megs Jenkins. I saw him staring. Who, Miss? The same man, the man on the tower. The tower. But now, just now, he was staring past me into the house as if he were hunting someone. Oh, what's he like, Miss? Oh, he had dark, curling hair and the hardest, the coldest eyes. Is he... Would you say he was very handsome? Oh, yes, yes, handsome, handsome and obscene. Do they ever return to possess a living? And when did you first see and hear of such things? Why, well, I made them up. Shall I tell you who taught them to you? I won't ever again, I promise. Shall I tell you who taught you? The things you've done, the things you've said? Shall I tell you his name? <laughs> Perhaps the most controversial concept in human relationships ever presented on the screen. With one of the world's great stars, from the man who directed Room at the Top, a new and adult motion picture experience.
for the drive, huh? Rev it up. Action you've never seen. Races across your screen as you thrill to a new dimension in picture making. Carnival of Souls. This is the shocking story of a who crawled from the river to race through a nightmare, walking a tightrope between heaven and hell. From the unreal, she crashes through to reality. But try as she will to lead a normal life, she is torn from a goal. There's no privacy in her life. She's ever watched, tormented. Either it's her neighbor, desirous of her physically, watching her with his leering eye, or it's the evil eye of the man, the man who taunts her, the man who wants her. From the bottom of the river they come. They reach for her. They demand that she dance with them at the Carnival of Souls. She is a girl driven mad by the relentless forces of the beyond. He will not relent as he comes for her again and again. She whirls between the real and the unreal, trying to cling to life. I like being with you, really I do. I don't want to be alone tonight. I want to be near you. Honey. You don't want to go in there all by yourself, do you? But she must watch herself in death. She must dance at the Carnival of Souls held just for her. For they have come for her for the last time, claiming her as one of their own. Carnival of Souls arouses such emotion that the management has been forced to state positively no refunds. Carnival of Souls is the shocker of all time, guaranteed to sweep you into a new dimension of picture making. You can't afford to miss Carnival of Souls. I know the supernatural is something that isn't supposed to happen, but it does happen. Now look, Doc, we're buddies, okay? But don't try to convert me. I'm trying to prepare you. My name's Marquay, Dr. Marquay, a scientist interested in the supernatural, the unnatural, if you like. I came to Hill House to find the key to another world. Assisting me in this exploration of the unknown was Eleanor, Nell, who could look back into the past, and Theo, something of a witch who could see into the future. This is Luke, who didn't believe in anything until evil, patient and waiting, made him change his mind. Stop it! God. God. Whose hand was I holding? How many of us take seriously the things we cannot or do not want to understand simply because we are afraid? No, 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 you're Paul! Oh. Oh. Did you hear me calling? Oh. Oh. This house. You have to watch it every minute. The Haunting was produced and directed by Robert Wise, brilliant producer of West Side Story. The stars consist of a cross-section of top talent in the world of entertainment. Julie Harris, Claire Bloom, Richard Johnson, Russ Tamblin. What does it take to convince you that the dead do not always rest in peace? That some houses, like Hill House, are born bad?
Not any die, man. Dr. Pepper signed the certificate natural causes, but I should have thought from the look of the poor fellow that he died of fright. This is a frightened village. Here, it is wiser to close your ears to a scream in the night. In this place, even familiar things take on an odd and terrifying significance. A funeral moves under the cloak of night. But no one inquires who has died, nor why the corpses are dispatched with such desperate haste. Starring Peter Cushing as the parson who knew every secret of the night creatures. Yvonne Romain and Oliver Reed as two young people who loved in the shadow of terror. I've always been respectful to you, haven't I? But I've had to keep my real feelings to myself until now. Patrick Allen as the courageous Captain Collier who sailed the seven seas in search of danger and found it in the night creatures. Castle of Blood. This is the shocking drama of a young writer who disregards the warning of his master, Edgar Allan Poe, and accepts a wager to pass the night in a castle of mystery and legend. The Castle of Blood. No one has ever witnessed and survived the awesome secrets, the ghostly events of this castle of the damned. I dreamed of this night. At last I can go away with the man I love. You can't leave, Elizabeth. You're trapped in this castle. Here, the dead rise from their tombs once a year to repeat their hideous crimes of murder and passion. Kiss me. Oh, yes, my dearest. Keep on embracing me. I want to absorb the warmth of your body. For a moment, I thought that your heart had stopped. I'm dead, Alan. No! No, Herbert, no! No! Every death is repeated tonight. Come. Uh. Ah! <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe's most gripping, chilling drama of horror and suspense, ah! Castle of Blood. can only be found at Villa Grubs. I'm sure the inspector's here. Get out of my sight or you'll be sorry. It's like running headlong into a wall of silence. They are suspicious, distrustful, and the way they react to my questions. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Melissa. <gasps> oh, Carl, my dearest. What is it? We've another one.
a cow. Why did you disobey my orders? I'm scared, Inspector. I have a certain feeling that they'll murder us. <gasps> a vacation. Mama wants a vacation. Their teenage son wants a vacation. You all right? Yeah, fine. fine. What were you doing out there? Hey? And so the whole darn family takes off for Cape Cod for what they hope will be a real holiday. But the kind of holiday they get, they need like a hole in the head. Hey, this is not bad at all, is it? Look, lady. I heard something. Starring Sid Caesar. It's the first picture to face the two biggest questions of our time. The sex life of ghosts and how to have a happy vacation when ghosts are breaking up the joint all around you. Vera Miles. Don't tell me when it's coming. It'll hurt less. Oh. Just do it, right? Steve. Barry Gordon. Sorry. He hates us. He's a teenager. They hate everything. John McIver as stingy Uncle George, who's hung up on ghosts. That's what I like about you, Ben. You can't stand me, I can't stand you, and it's all right out in the open. John Aston as the psychiatrist. All right, Mr. Heimer. Won't be needing that any longer. There we are. And introducing Jill Townsend in three roles. First as a teenager, then as her older sister, and finally as a kiss-hungry girl ghost looking for a live lover. In a haunted house of murder. And featuring an outstanding cast of co-starring spirits, headed by Cass Daly. The spirit is willing, your kisses are chilling, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak.